what is up guys we just got a brand new marvel trailer shang chi and legend of the ten rings i've been waiting for this since they announced it i'm a fan of shang chi i've read some of the comics it's, i'm kind of like forgotten some points of like where the villains are his like plot and stuff like that but no he's the master of kung fu he works with mi6 and some of the storylines and he's just super cool and can marvel make this different can marvel show us an origin story that we've never seen i don't think so <laughs> every origin movie iron man one captain america one thor one uh captain marvel like everything is kind of like the same like run by the numbers like oh this villain villain wants to is save people and to be a leader for them or just be bad to be bad like or want power like it's kind of like the same crap now the shang chi villains are actually pretty different and i hope that this movie doesn't dwell on the villains because i want to see shang chi like kick butt and see his evolution into how he becomes a master of kung fu but I don't want it to feel like the same movie we've seen before. Just with Shang-Chi, you know? I want this to be different. And it looks like it's going to be different. So I'm super excited for this. We got so much Marvel content this year. You got WandaVision, Falcon, Winter Soldier. In like two months, we got Loki. In like a month, we have Black Widow. In November, we got Eternals. We got Spider-Man. And then we got this coming up in September. So it's a good year for Marvel. It's a good year. WandaVision was great. I didn't like the ending, but it was great. The execution for the entire season was great. And no, I'm not mad that Mephisto or Magneto or any of those characters in the pop-up. I just think the ending was very lackluster. Uh, Captain Winter Soldier, uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. <laughs> this is a Captain America. He's not that yet. But Falcon and Winter Soldier, I do enjoy it. Um, the first three episodes, I was kind of on the fence of why this was even a show, but I have rewatched them uh, like yesterday, I think, and I do like them a little more, but I think episode four and five are the best of Marvel that we've seen so far, and it's incredible. So I'm super excited to see how that ends. That ends this week, actually, but Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. If you're hyped about this, let me know in the comments below. We're about to check this trailer out in three, two, one. Ooh scary yo alright I gave you 10 years to live your life I gotta hire this yo Aquafina I love Aquafina and where did that get you Loving the oh, oh, we're getting that kung fu, man. I trained you, yo. The most dangerous people in the world. We're, we're just getting in it. Couldn't kill you. He looks great. Son. He got built for this. It's time for you to take your place by my side. Look at these monsters in the background, yo. These visuals are sick. Yo! Ooh! You can't outrun. I, lo I love fighting. I love act. I like I love sun. Uh, this looks pretty incredible. Ooh! Yo, that's how you show a superhero that knows come boo. That's how you do it. Oh! Yo, we lit. Yo, why is Al Capino driving? You never let her drive. We make a good team. <laughs> September third. Yo, that was hype. I'm actually have to rewatch that <laughs> after this video, but that was that was really good. Yo, they showed me enough. They didn't show any plot or anything. You know, it's still super early for this movie to come out. But this looks hype. This is exciting. 
Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It looks fun. It looks different, like I was just talking about. Like, it's it's what I kind of wanted to see in the trailer to get me hype. Now, will the origi- will the final product be like that? Different and fun? We don't know. But from what we've seen, it looks like they're going heavy on the Kung Fu and him growing into the the best Kung Fu warrior ever. And so I'm super excited for this. Like, Mar- Marvel doesn't mess up. They they rarely mess up. And if it's like a mess up in a movie, it's like maybe a plot point or something like that. It's never anything crazy. Like, I, I think Marvel mess ups for me, like the only things that mess up is like Thor 1 and 2. I do not like those movies and I don't really enjoy them. I think they're boring and not well written at all. But they have some redemption in some of the stories with Loki and Thor and their brotherhood and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. So they're not complete failures. And that's like the lowest I've ever seen the MCU be is like those movies. Other than that, they never really fail. It's not a hit or a miss. It's usually a hit or a, eh, it was all right. And I think Shang-Chi could be a hit. The music, by the way, yo, they better have that music in the movie. That was pretty fire. That was pretty dope. It reminded me of, I don't know if you guys seen Wu Assassins on Netflix. Go check that out. It's a decent show. If you want to see some good brutal action and kung fu and stuff, go check out Wu Assassins. Pretty good. But Shang-Chi and The Legend of Ten Rings, super excited. I think Marvel is killing it this year. WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Loki, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, and Spider-Man 3. It's it's a nice year for Marvel. Marvel has the, the time to develop these stories and these TV shows and movies during this whole year. And then even next year and next year. Next, like, I think this new phase is going to be insane. People probably won't gravitate towards it immediately. Because, look, look, we don't got Iron Man anymore. We don't got Captain America. We don't have Black Widow. So, like, I think uh, it's it's not going to be harder but say like you got WandaVision, right? People know Scarlet Witch and people know Vision. We're going to watch that. You got Falcon and Winter Soldier, right? People like Falcon, people like Winter Soldier. But for a movie like Shang-Chi or The Eternals, you're going to get butts in the seats to watch these movies, but it may be a little uh, hard of a task for them to get the audiences with this because Shang-Chi... He's in the comics and everything, but a lot of people don't know him. But a lot of people didn't know Iron Man either. A lot of people didn't know Guardians of the Galaxy, but we had to grow to love him. So we got to wait for the reception of this movie from entire audiences audiences to see if people are going to accept this. But they ain't stopping. (laughs) No matter what, this movie is going to make millions of dollars be popular. And I'm super excited. I wonder how audiences are going to view this uh, trailer or view... Just this movie in general. This movie means a lot more than just some dumb action movie. This is representation all over the place, and it's super exciting. So I hope this does as well as Black Panther did, because this movie is is history in the making, regardless of if it's good or not. It's history in the making. Representation all over the place, and it's super, super cool. So if you're hyped for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, let me know in the comments below. Marvel is kicking it in the butt. This is one of my most anticipated Marvel movies behind Spider-Man 3, which I'm still waiting for a trailer for, but we'll probably get it soon. But uh, anyways, guys, this is this looks cool. I'm about to rewatch the trailer like 20 times. Oh, uh, we got a new video, Love, Death, and Robots, Volume 2. If you guys know it on Netflix, or if you don't know, I'm about to do a reaction to the Season 2 trailer. But if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And bend up.